Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing how to root your Nexus 5. This is very simple to do. This will not take long, but I want to make a note that rooting your Nexus 5, uh, you will need to unlock your bootloader during the process, which will wipe internal storage along with phone data. So it'll be just like how it was out of the box. So if you're thinking about rooting, you might want to do it sooner rather than later before you need accrues a lot of data on your device. Uh, but otherwise, you are going to need to make sure you have backups of your messages, your pictures, your contacts, all that good stuff, your apps. Make sure you back up everything before you follow this process. Unless your bootloader is already unlocked, if it hasn't been, then make sure you do back everything up. All right, anyways, once you have everything backed up, what we're gonna need to do is download a file, actually. So what you can do is click on the link in the description of the video and find the download link. There should be a big download link after you click the link in the description of the video. Once you're done downloading the file, you will see the CF Auto Root Hammerhead. I do want to give a huge shout out to Chainfire, who is actually who developed this tool for us to uh, root our device. All you have to do is actually extract it. So what I'd recommend doing is creating a folder on your desktop. So just right click, hit New Folder, and you can call it anything you want. I'm just going to call it Root N5. Just root Nexus 5. Now, once you have that folder on your desktop, double click on that zip file, and inside you'll see a uh, couple folders and a few files. You can just go ahead and transfer it over to your root N5 folder. All right, anyways, once you have that transferred over to that folder, you can actually exit out of that zip file that we had opened up and double click on this root N5 folder. Inside, you should see those two folders and those files that we transferred over. Depending on if you're on Mac or Linux or Windows, it uh, just depends real quick. If you're on Linux, you run these two commands, and if you're on Mac, you run these two commands. So those are the two commands if you run Linux or Mac. If you're on Windows, you can actually just double click on root hyphen Windows, this batch file here. So just double click on it. I'm on Windows 8. Uh, you'll see it does say Windows protected your PC. You do have to click on more info and then just hit run anyway. So just make sure you click on that. And you should see a command prompt open up. Once this command prompt opens up, uh, we actually need to go to our device and put it into uh, the bootloader and fast boot mode. All right, now to get the Nexus 5 into the bootloader, just go ahead and power off the device completely. Again, I do want to stress, make sure you have a backup. Once the device is fully powered off, press and hold volume up, volume down, and the power button all at the same time. Press and hold all three of those buttons until it takes us to this screen. So this would be the bootloader screen. Uh, this would be uh, also fast boot mode when you plug it into your computer. So now, once you're on the bootloader screen, you can actually plug your device into your PC or your Mac or your uh, Linux computer. So plug it on in. Um, it might show up installing drivers. If it is, let it run through the installation process. All right, now once our device is in the bootloader and plugged into your computer, all you have to do is go ahead and press any key to continue. You'll see it'll take us to this unlock bootloader screen, which is what I was talking about. Again, um, this will wipe data. All you have to do is press volume up until it highlights yes, and then press the power button to continue. So again, make sure you are backed up completely once you press the power button to select it. So now you hit yes, um, it, you'll see at the bottom of the phone it now says lock state unlocked. Um, it also says erasing down at the bottom. So it is currently erasing everything. You'll see it did uh, reboot my device down at the bottom. You'll see a padlock that is unlocked and is automatically running the root process as well. So this is all it needs to do to root the device actually. So it's great that this is all automated for us. On the screen you'll see it'll take a minute or so. If it doesn't show up at all there may be a problem. Obviously uh, you can try rebooting your PC, try a different USB port, try a different micro USB cable. Those are some troubleshooting steps if you can't get it to run through. Uh, but yeah, so you'll see it's rebooting now. It took us to the Android uh, system recovery as well. This will not install a custom recovery. I will have a video showing you how to do so in case you're looking to flash ROMs, etc. So please subscribe to me. I'll get that video up very soon as well. I'll let it run through this screen. All right, so you'll see that uh, that little Android guy went away and it rebooted our device once more. And that should be just about it, I believe. You can press any key to continue and this should close out of the command prompt. It is actually done with the process. So you'll see it's booting up now. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let it boot up and I will be right back. All right, so the phone booted back up. You'll see it did do a factory reset as my bootloader was not unlocked. So I'm gonna run through the setup screen. You do not need your phone plugged in anymore. Uh, you do not need it. It's obviously done with the routing process. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run through this process and I'll be right back. All right, finally done syncing everything. Uh, just about it's installing some apps now, but I wanted to go ahead and show you inside your app drawer, you will see Super SU right there. So there is Super SU. Want to go ahead and prove that that doesn't just mean I'm rooted because Super SU is installed. Want to go ahead and go to an app called Root Checker Basic, which you can get from the Play Store and hit OK. And I'm just going to verify root access, hit a, a grant when it asks for super user permissions, and that's it. Congratulations, device has root access. That just lets you know that you have root access if you wanted to test it. But just wanted to prove to you that we are now fully rooted on our Google Nexus 5. Um, that's it. As I said, very simple process. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe to me. I would really appreciate that. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.